Good morning, Laura. Today is Monday, August 30th, and it is the day before school starts. Now, I'm going to level with you. I haven't watched your video yet because we don't have internet connection here. But I'll get around to watching it probably when I upload this because obviously I'm going to need to go somewhere with an internet connection to upload. But, yeah. Now, since I haven't seen your video yet, I have no choice but to assume that you were talking about how awesome my zombies were. And they're pretty awesome. But that of course brings up a question I've been wondering about while making the zombies. Could the zombies eat like human food if they wanted to? Like, I know generally except they eat, you know, the humans themselves, but what if there's a zombie just like, I'm gonna eat a hamburger. I guess that kind of goes into do zombies have some sort of moral compass at all? Or are we zombies because we're lacking our complete humanity, which then goes into what is humanity? Is it the moral compass itself? Or is it the ability to think about what we're doing? Or I found some expo cleaner? So, or is it just the fact that we're conscious that we're humans that makes us human? But if that's the case, is there a possibility that someone who's not conscious that they're human is not actually human? Because, I mean, if you think about it, if you're a schizophrenic and you think you're a rabbit for some reason, if you define humanity by being conscious of the fact that you are human, then that person is not human, they would be rabbit, or whatever I said it was. So what is human? What are zombies? Because they're humans, quote unquote. They were humans, at least but they're generally accepted not to be humans anymore. So what changes that? Is it just the fact that they're running around eating people? Because then, does that mean, like, a cannibal in general would not be human? Because I know that's not a very good example, but... There are certain people in the world, I'm sure, who are cannibals who would consider themselves to be human. Obviously, so that goes back into they consider themselves to be human, so they are human. But then, if a different animal, for some reason, had the same sort of consciousness but considered itself to be human, would it be considered human as well? Are there any animals that are capable of considering themselves to be humans? No, I think sometimes dogs almost act like they're humans. And then again, humans kind of act like they're dogs sometimes, so that works. Welcome to my really random philosophical brain. And I know I asked you this a couple days ago, but the whole vlogging mean, schedule thing, does it sound like we're going to try and do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing? Because I'm good with that. You know, I only have a couple classes that day. And it'll be a lot easier on Friday when I actually have a freaking internet connection and can actually, you know, upload this from the apartment. Which you're seeing behind me, kind of. Anyway, yeah, I vote we continue the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule at least on our, like, school trial run. Because I like having an odd number of days because then it's not the same every week. So yeah, I think we should try that if you want to try it, I guess you should tell me, because, yeah, don't have internet. So, kind of puts a rub in things, doesn't it? Oh well. So I'm going to assume I'm going to see you on Wednesday, and if not, let me know, because otherwise I will be way behind. Alright, I will talk to you later. Bye.